May God bless DAV, and may God bless the USA. The start of our 98th year last July began with your selection of our national officers, highlighted by the election of National Commander Dennis Nixon, an amputee from Vietnam who went on to serve our organization as a national service officer for more than four decades. A self-proclaimed blasting cap biting Marine, Commander Nixon continued his legacy of serving veterans by leading from the front at our homeless stand down at national headquarters. He also worked tirelessly throughout the year to ensure our organization's success in accomplishing its top legislative priorities. In February, Commander Nixon testified before Congress at a joint session of the House and Senate Veterans Affairs Committee during our annual Midwinter Conference in Washington. There, he laid out DAV's legislative priorities to lawmakers and voiced his resolve in safeguarding survivor benefits, improving benefits for women veterans, expanding caregiver benefits to those made ill in service, and implementing smart VA health care reforms. But let me be crystal clear on one point. We will not stand for cutting services or closing hospitals that disabled veterans depend on. The implementation of the VA Mission Act in June marked the beginning of a number of critical reforms and improvements to strengthen the VA health care system. Among the main changes for veterans are the new community care and urgent care programs that now allow veterans to receive care within VA's newly established community care network. While DAV remains cautiously optimistic about these reforms, the organization will continue to solicit feedback from our membership and work closely with the VA and Congress to ensure the Mission Act is fully and faithfully implemented as intended. Our Washington headquarters under the new leadership of Randy Reese as our executive director kept enough pressure on Capitol Hill along with our fellow veterans groups, DAV's benefits protection team leaders, and nationwide supporters for us to say mission accomplished in June when the Blue Water Navy Vietnam Veterans Act of 2019 was signed into law. This new legislation marks a major DAV victory for veterans as more than 100,000 veterans who served in the water off of Vietnam are now presumed exposed and may be eligible for VA benefits as a result of their exposure to Agent Orange. DAV also released a follow-up to its Women Veterans Report. The new report, Women Veterans, The Journey Ahead, spotlights how the expanding role of women in our armed forces is necessitating changes to an array of policies, programs, and services in the VA and other federal agencies. It includes 45 key recommendations covering a broad range of issues affecting women veterans throughout their lifetime, including primary and gender-specific health care, mental health and readjustment services, and disability and employment benefits. DAV continues to be the nationwide leader in representing veterans in their claims for benefits, fighting to ensure they receive justice for the sacrifices they've made during service. Thanks to the help of generous donors and corporate sponsors like Cook Tire and ESPN, our mobile service offices visited 494 sites in 2018, allowing our service officers to provide accessibility to benefits to more than 6,000 claimants who might otherwise go underserved. Our transition service officers filed more than 24,000 claims last year and helped ensure more than 44,000 transitioning veterans were aware of their earned benefits. With nearly 1.1 million powers of attorney on hand, DAV provided representation for more than 200,000 VA claims this past year. Between all 3,942 county, chapter, department, transition, and national service officers, DAV helped veterans and family members obtain more than $20 billion in benefits in 2018. This year, natural disasters once again crisscrossed the nation, devastating communities from California to Alabama and Oklahoma to South Carolina. Fortunately, our disaster relief program was there to make an impact and aid our fellow veterans on the ground by supplying nearly 4,000 drafts and supply kits, totaling more than $1.2 million. Since its establishment in 1968, DAV's disaster relief program has now dispersed nearly $13 million to veterans affected by natural disasters. You are serious. This year, our membership department ramped up its efforts to recruit from the fastest growing demographic in our country, women veterans. 
We did so by highlighting the impact DAV makes on their behalf and the value of adding their voices to our calls. DAV is leading the way for women and veterans. They are actually helping push women's issues at the VA hospital. We still have a long ways to go, but it's getting there and I'm proud that DAV is doing that. The department also continues to provide recruitment information on social media and through our app, which can be added to any iPhone or Android. With the touch of a few buttons, recruiters can enlist prospective members to our ranks and make them eligible for a wide range of money-saving and life-enhancing benefits. For 2018, DAV volunteers provided nearly 4.8 million hours through the VA Voluntary Services Program, our local veterans assistance program, and the DAV Transportation Network. Vince, what does it mean to you when other people volunteer their time to help veterans? Oh, I really appreciate it. Our Voluntary Services Department also continued its effort to grow VolunteerForVeterans.org, a web-based resource where individuals and businesses can sign up to volunteer for veterans in their local communities. At the same time, veterans, their advocates, caregivers, and even DAV chapters are able to request help as needed, connecting those in need with those who are willing to help. When it comes to employment, we're also executing a busy schedule of 145 job fairs with Recruit Military across the nation this year, bringing in more than 52,000 attendees. By offering military personnel, veterans, and their spouses various online employment resources, as well as the opportunity to directly engage with employers who know the value of hiring those who serve, DAV continues to build its status as the most prolific charity in terms of connecting veterans with employers. Our partnership with Hiring America's televised Veteran Employment Series is just one of the many examples of DAV's influence in this area as we continue our nation-leading efforts to find meaningful employment for veterans and their families. The Charitable Service Trust supports dozens of unique initiatives that provide ill and injured veterans rehabilitative and emotional therapy transition assistance, employment support, emergency relief, and a range of other services. Last year, the Trust once again received the coveted four-star rating for sound fiscal management and commitment to accountability and transparency from Charity Navigator, the nation's largest independent charity evaluator. This acknowledgement speaks volumes about the Trust's careful and efficient stewardship of donated funds as more than 96 cents of every dollar donated to the Trust went to programs that directly support veterans. In 2018, the Trust issued more than $6.7 million in grants to support our nation's heroes, their families, and survivors. DAV again co-hosted the National Disabled Veterans Winter Sports Clinic in Snowmass, Colorado. Among the participants, our 2018 DAV Freedom Award recipient, Army veteran Alex Hussey stood out as a shining example of how adaptive winter sports can make a difference in the lives and recoveries of participants. Coming here and seeing other people like him and the struggles that he goes through, I mean, it's just been an amazing experience. Yes. Actor and comedian Eric Stolhansky of hit movies Beer Fest and Super Troopers also showed up to the clinic to share his story of overcoming adversity as an amputee. I just wanted to be an example to show that they can still have fun have a fulfilling life and have not let it stop them. Additionally, we once again teamed up with the VA to co-host the National Disabled Veterans Tea Tournament in Iowa. Previously a local program, the national event promotes rehabilitation, fellowship, and camaraderie among disabled veterans through adaptive sporting events. We have also continued expanding our presence in the social sphere, topping 1.5 million fans on Facebook and continuing to promote our initiatives and message across social media platforms like Twitter, which grew to more than 101,000 followers in 2018, and Instagram, which has now topped 34,000 followers. Our website, DAV.org, also saw tremendous traffic with 3.2 million visitors. We also continued our partnership with A&W Restaurants, which, like DAV, has been a part of America for nearly 100 years. To show their appreciation for the men and women who have sacrificed so much, A&W stores collected customer donations from early July up to National Root Beer Float Day in August, resulting in a $150,000 donation to DAV. We also continued our partnership with Golden Corral through the restaurant's Military Appreciation Night, which provides free meals to veterans around Veterans Day. 
In 2018, the annual event raised over $1.3 million for DAV, bringing the total to more than $15 million since the event began in 2001. Additionally, approximately 3,300 children of wounded, ill, injured, and fallen veterans are expected to attend Camp Corral at 22 locations in 19 states with the help of donations from DAV and the Auxiliary. Thanks goes to all of our corporate partners for helping DAV fulfill our mission throughout the year. It is through their generosity we are able to make differences in the lives of our nation's heroes. Supporting us on this effort, the fight for caregivers, and more is the DAV Auxiliary, which has had a busy year under the guidance of Commander Ellen Timmerman. Through their unmatched, dedicated service to local community veterans, Commander Timmerman, National Adjutant Pat Kemper, and the rest of our friends and allies in the Auxiliary stood up their own National Caregiver Initiative to assist with funding caregiver and companion activities for events like the National Disabled Veterans Winter Sports Clinic and National Disabled Veterans Tea Tournament, among others. DAV has continued to gain momentum throughout the last year with a dedicated network of members, volunteers, and supporters working diligently to keep our organization invigorated with new ideas and fresh opportunities to engage. I am proud of all we've accomplished over the past year. I am exceptionally proud of our tremendous DAV and auxiliary community, and I look forward to another year serving side by side with you, working together to keep our promises to America's veterans and their families.